You might have heard the news that a new tool has just entered the Airtable space. Yes, I am talking about Softer. Softer.io is a new interface that's going to sit on top of Airtable and give you new capabilities to interact with your data and with your clients and users. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Hey, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I am the owner at Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your business and life. If that's of interest and you want to learn more about how we do that, check out our website. I will include a link below. And don't miss our free Airtable crash course. If you are new to Airtable, this is going to help you get up to speed quickly and easily in the software. But without further ado, let's just launch right into my screen and I want to talk about Softer. You see here, this was just a couple weeks ago that we received word that Softer scored a $2.2 million seed round for its no-code website and web app platform. Now, this is a really big deal. Uh, Softer is building a, a, a new tool that sits on top of Airtable and is a way to build web pages and web apps using Airtable as the data storage but using Softer as the front end of that. There are some other softwares out there that have done this in different ways. I'm thinking about Table to Site, I'm thinking about Pori.io, I'm thinking about Stacker, but Softer is unique and I wanna get into why and why I'm really excited that they're here. But before we really just jump into all of the heart of building in Softer, I do wanna just point out two things before we get any further. Specifically, I want to talk about how exciting it is to be in this no code space because all of these new tools keep kind of cropping up around Airtable. And all that is going to do in the long run is drive more users to Airtable, right? Because people are going to start using Softer and then find out about Airtable along the way, or they're going to start using one of these other tools and find out about Airtable along the way. So this is only further cementing Airtable's uh, dominance in the no-code database space. That's first and foremost. And secondly, I love that people are out there making new things. I sometimes go to the forums and I read about people who are uh, making comments about how the developers at Airtable aren't working fast enough for them, or they haven't built the feature that they requested like five years ago. And, you know, just a little bit of tough love here, guys. I kind of find that stuff to be a little ridiculous. Like, in all honesty, those developers at Airtable are working hard and they're putting out new things all the time. And I'm sorry that your particular feature hasn't gotten picked up yet. Be more like Softer and go build it. Like these guys, I love it. They just went out and they decided to build the thing that they thought was missing in the space. I'm super excited about it. Let's jump into the product and talk about it. So I'm going to flip over to softer.io. Now, once you've created an account and you're inside, this is what it's going to look like. I have opted for their more advanced package. They have web design, which is just strictly building a website, and they have building web apps. So I've gone with the web apps. I don't remember what the cost is. I don't even know if they're cemented in their pricing yet. They might still be in trial mode, but whatever that is, go check it out. So now that we're in Softer, let's go ahead and drop into a new application. So I'm going to set a new one up here and I want to build a more complex scenario. I want to build a place for people to go and download all of the different templates that we've showcased on YouTube over the years. This is something that I've been wanting to build for a while now and it's been a hard thing to wrangle and keep organized. So I'm going to just see if I can create it in Softer. This is going to become a two-part video, I'm sure, where I'm hopeful to be able to make this a members-only site so that people have to sign in before they can actually see and access those different templates that they want to grab. So again, I'm going to start with a web app here, and there's a nice one here called the Startup Academy that I think is kind of similar to what I want to do. So I'm going to select this, and I already have my Airtable API key in my uh, keyboard. If you don't know how to find this, you have to go to your account settings in Airtable. I'm gonna paste mine in here, and then I'm going to use the templates base just to keep things simple. So I don't wanna have to reconstruct a base and remap it to this template and all of that stuff. So I'll keep the, uh, the template base. Now from here, it says that uh, we need to copy the template base to our Airtable account, and we're going to have to uh, paste that in here for step two. So let's find out how we can do that. 
we can copy the template base. And this is going to then give us read only access to this base inside of our account. So we'll need to copy it uh, from Softer into our own account so that we can have it. And I'll just go ahead and save that here in my Gap Consulting workspace. And let's see what that looks like once it's created. All right, so I've got my startup school template. That is the name of that, uh, that base that was just created and it showed up in orange here. Now that we have our base copied into our Airtable account, we're gonna need to drop in and get that Airtable base URL. Now we need to go into the API documentation to get this. So if you haven't done this before, simply click the question mark up here and select from API documentation. That's gonna open up a new tab with the API documentation and find the table that you want to expand upon. Go down to list records and your base URL is going to be available right here. So whatever that is, go ahead and grab that. We're gonna go back into Softer and paste our base, paste our base URL here and click finish. And this is now going to be able to talk to our database and check this out. These pieces of information here are now coming live from that Airtable database that we have. So if I wanted to scrap this, because of course this data isn't exactly relevant for me, I can go ahead and get rid of it. And I can bring in some other pieces of information here. For example, the things that I wanna share on my website or web app that I'm building. All right, so now I have the information for one of my templates here, and I'm gonna go ahead and see how this shakes up. If I go back to my softer and I preview it again, let's see if it's able to pull in the current data. And sure enough, we have some changes being made here. You see that this is now using the, uh, the information that I put into my Airtable database. So the stuff that I just entered in there is now being uh, displayed here on my web page. Now you will see that some of these things are old uh, pieces from the template, right? So I have different categories, for example, and different things I want people to search by. So let's drop into Softer and really see where all the power of this is. So we've, we've been able to prove that we can drive the, uh, the data on our website using the uh, the software interface, but how do we make changes to it otherwise? So the nice thing about software is that it's in blocks. All of these little pieces are prepackaged blocks that we can click into and change the background image, change the color, change how things show up in general on our website. And certain things we can uh, decide to make visible or invisible based on conditions as well. So all of these pieces are really just building blocks for us to put together websites and web apps that give specific permission to people depending on what we want them to see. So in part two of this video, I'm gonna be dropping into a lot more detail about how we can set this up specifically for members because the idea here is we want people to have to log in first, provide their email and their password in order to get in and get those templates. Yes, we'll make them free, but again, we want to protect it by some sort of uh, some sort of you know login credentials. So that's what we're going to be hashing out in the next one. But for now, uh, you know we we have a working case where we are able to bring this information in. As always, I hope you found that to be extremely helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing by our website and see how we can help. We offer a free Airtable crash course that will help you level up in Airtable quickly. And we also have some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online courses and a group coaching program. And for advanced needs, we can build a bespoke solution for you from scratch. So swing on by, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.